Shemai, Yashuala, Yahawa, Alahaina, Yahawa, Achud, Shemai, Yashuala, Yahawa, Alahaina, Yahawa, Achud, Koholoyimla, Yahawa, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Wahakodash Raka. I want to give the warnings to the elders and apostles a great millstone. They rule well, still teach well, peace, salutations to the hopeful elect. Which are Yaakim, if you are the Most High's name is Yahweh. Yahweh means He exists. His only begotten Son's name is Yahweh Shai, which means He deliverer. Back at it again with another lesson. And this is entitled, Carry On Going in the Spiritual Battle. And um, I wanted to speak about how I was in my bed, man. And um, when I was just resting, I felt this energy drain. This, this thing was draining my energy, man. You see, because... What these demons are trying to do is they just try to mess around with the man of the Lord, man. That's the reason why we go out, carry on praying, man. The first thing that came into my mind was prayer. Prayer, you know, we go out pray. And I was so tired. Well, you see, that's the reason why we have to pray to the best of our ability three times a day, man. Minimum three times a day and I'm speaking for myself this is Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11 put on the whole armor of power what's the armor of power this truth that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil verse 12 for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities that's a demon right against powers against spiritual Start against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So we're in a serious fight. This is a serious, serious fight, man. We're wrestling against, fighting against these demons, fighting against these devils that are casting spells. You know, this is a serious, serious warfare, man. And we got to remain strong. You got to be strong in this thing, man. Okay? And have faith. Because this spiritual warfare is so real. It's so real. Well, you see, the end result is going to be that Esau is going to get tortured. And the demons are going to catch hell too. That's the interesting part as well. So it, can, it works both ways, man. But anyways, um, verse 13 Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of power, that ye may be able to stand, or stand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. So you got to be strong, man. You know, put on the armor, man, so you can be able to stand. Because in Jacob's trouble, the Lord is going to be releasing all these left-handed spirits out there. It's going to be a terrible day, man. And Jacob's trouble is going to be so bad, yeah, it's going to, it's not even going to be funny, man, you see, because it's one thing saying it, but experience, yeah, is another level to speaking, you see, speaking is just words being said, and you can hear your words, and by experience, you can actually feel, you can actually, you know, sometimes see I don't even pray for um I don't pray for anyone this truth to experience this but it's a fight man but anyways that's the reason why it says this in the next passage um uh, verse 18 praying always you see praying always you always got to pray you always got to pray man with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, and watching it unto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. So you always got to pray, man. Always got to be sending out them prayers. Always, man. 
because prayer is so important man it's so important we gotta pray more and more and more and more and more we gotta constantly pray and disturb the lord man we gotta carry on just sending prayers and prayers and prayers and prayers and prayers and pray we can't stop man we can't stop Oh yeah, this is a good one. James 2 and 10. For whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. You see, so you can't keep the law 100%. That's why we're justified in faith in Yahweh Shai. Alright? Now that doesn't mean that Yahweh Shai is the minister of sin. You know? We're not justified by keeping the law. We're justified by having faith in Yahweh Shai, man. Now, um, where's the... I want to have that power, man. I want that power. I want mercy, man. And I want power. You know, I want to do... You know, let me... <laughs> let me get it out real quick. Hold up. I'm going to get the precept. This is James chapter 2. And verse 19, thou believest that there is one power, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. Yeah, the devils, as these demons, man, they tremble when it comes to Yahweh Shemiel Shai, man. They're scared, man. These villains of God are scared of Yahweh Shemashek Yahweh Shai. They're in great fear of Yahweh Shemashek Yahweh Shai. And these demons, they know that when the man of the Lord get that power, it's not going to be something nice for these villains of God, man. It's not going to be something nice. It's not going to be nice for them. Because they know the time is soon running out. This is Matthew. Chapter 8 and verse 28. And when he was come to the other side into the country of the uh, Jurgensinus, there met him two possessed with devils, that's uh, evil spirits, right? Coming out of the tomb, exceeding fierce, so that no man might pass by that way. <laughs> And behold, they cried out, saying, What have we to do with thee, Yahweh Shai, the son of Yahweh? Art thou come hither to torment us before the time? You see, they were scared of Yahweh Shai, man. <laughs> These devils were scared of Yahweh Shai. These demons were scared, man. Okay. And what did Yahweh Shai do? And there was a good way off from the, the, them and heard of many swine feeding. So the devils besought him, saying, If thou cast us out, suffer us to go away into the herd of the swine. So they were scared of Yahweh Shai, saying, Please, please, if, 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 if you're going to cast us out, just, you know, cast us into the swine. So these demons, they, these villains of God, they are scared of Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, man. They are scared, man. And he said unto them, Go. See, he only said one word, man. Yahweh Shai didn't even talk much. He just said one word, Go. And they instantly went into the pig, man. And when they were come out, they went into the herd of, of swine. And behold, the herd of the swine ran violently down a steep place into the sea and perished in the waters. You see, and that shows you're not meant to be eating that pork, man. Do you know how many demons are into that pork? Imagine someone eating that 
that that that demonic pork that the demons jumped into. You're not meant to be eating that shit, man. You're not meant to be eating the swine. They see our people are so stupid. They want to carry on eating sausages and swine and all this detestable rubbish, man. Alright. I believe it's in... um. Yeah, kind of is it? Uh, John fourteen and twelve. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, believing Yahweh Shai, believing Yahweh Shimei Shai. No, you have to believe in Yahweh Shimei Shai. But in this context, it's talking about Yahweh Shai, right? The works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do because I go unto my father so you know the works that Yahweh, Yahweh Shai said that you know that if you believe in him you're going to do the works that he does and greater works man because he he's going to go to his father which he do with his father right now so what's one of the works that he did man scaring those demons man and those demons were scared and he just said go and they went into the, 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 the pig. So when we get that power, these demons are going to be scared, man. They're going to be trembling. These demons that have been messing around me must, when I'm sleeping. Oh, boy, oh, boy, man. Boy, oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. It's going to be a bad day for him, man. If the Lord give me that power, boy, oh, boy, it's going to be a bad time for the villains of God, man. Hmm. I ain't gonna be rejoicing that the spirits are subject. I'm gonna just say, call Lohim La Yaba Shimi Al Shai, that my name is Lord Willen. Me and my brother, Yaruya, Yazakal, you know, my Yum, you know, Uda Sinsi Akim, that our names is written in heaven, man. I'm gonna be rejoicing, Lord Willen. You know. Because we're focused on bigger things, man. You understand? Luke 10 and 20. Now, withstanding in this, rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. So, you know, Lord willing, we're part of that number. We're going to say, Call Loyim Loya Bashim Mashek Yao Shai. Brakati Hawa Brakati Yao Shai. The water for putting my name in heaven. The water for putting. My name in heaven, the water for putting my name in heaven, Lord willing. You know, I rejoice that my name is written in heaven, my Lord willing, I part that elect, man. Be praising the most high, praising his only begotten son. You know, because this is, the, you know, this is a fight, man. These demons want to take someone out of the truth. But Yahweh Shai said the gates of hell will not prevail, man. That means that these damn Edomites, they can't stop nothing, man. We're going to carry on fighting until this place falls, man. Because Yahweh Shim Shai is our guide, man. All right? And so far as the Heavenly Father is, is, is supporting us, no one can stop this truth, man. All right? Even though they're going through, you know, pains... You know, going through attacks, we're sleeping. Hey, we go a fight and carry on going, man. Okay, because the reward is great, man. Call Loyim Loyim, but shut my mouth, Shaq, y'all, man. Shalom.